Tennessee has a basketball coach on the women's side, and Caleb Calhoun is incredibly high on this young lady. We'll tell you ne- why now. Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Pools and Spas. Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Spas, the most comfortable spas made in the United States of America, right here in East Tennessee. Drop in for the all-new showroom in Athens, Dynasty Spas, perfect for all four seasons. Four Downs, presented by Off the Hook Sports. All right, so here we go, and you can vote if you would like to online. It'll be today's tough question. Their decision to hire Kim Caldwell by Tennessee's athletic department was a great hire or a money-saving move. But first, let's get to the some of the specifics that you might not know about Kim Caldwell. What do we do, Coop, before we hop in the hot tub? Cooper Mays here. Hit like and subscribe. I love it. All right. What down, Coop? Coop here. First down. All right. First down. Here we go. Caleb Calhoun, you are all on top of this on Sunday. And uh, so you know as much about Kim Caldwell as I think uh, Kim Caldwell's mom. She spent almost in her, her entire career in West Virginia. That is first down, Coop. Coop here. First down. So did Nick Saban. So what does that mean for Kim Caldwell? Caleb? Well, obviously she's the next Nick Saban. <laughs> no um, question. So... Yeah, she's from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Went to school at Glenville State from 2007 to 2011, which is also in West Virginia. Then she was an assistant at Ohio Valley from 2011 to 2013, also in West Virginia. First head coaching job, Glenville State, 2016 to 2023. She was there, also in West Virginia again. And then this past year was at Marshall, which is also in West Virginia. The sole exception was from 2013 to 2016, she was in Sacramento State as an assistant. So, Total 180, uh, an assistant in almost her whole career in West Virginia, except for a four-year period where she was in Northern California. I have to be honest. I thought this, when we talked a lot yesterday, was a bit of a eh for her. But I've been told that she came in with the right attitude at the hiring process and said, I want to be made better at the administrative things and things I'm not better at. So she's been a head coach. She has experience doing those sorts of things. But doing it at this level is a totally different sort of thing. What down, Coop? Cooper Mays here. Second down. All right. Second down. Dynasty Pools and Spas in Athens. Their showroom is there for you. It's fantastic. An up-tempo coaching style. That's way different than what Tennessee had done previously under Pat Summit, is it not? A complete departure from the Pat Summit era at Tennessee, uh, which was always about defense and rebounding. She is all up tempo. They led the Marshall this past year, led the nation in three point attempts was third in three pointers made and was top five in steals. So you're going to see a lot of up and down running. They were fir- they were fourth in scoring at over 85 points a game. The question I have, I'm not so sure the women's game has evolved to the point where that translates to championships yet, because all the talk about Iowa and Caitlin Clark and everything like that. And what happened when Iowa played South Carolina? They couldn't buy a rebound, which is why South Carolina beat them. Because South Carolina and Dawn Staley were still about defense and rebounding. And that's how they won another national title. So I think it's evolving. I think it may be changing. Maybe she's coming in at the right time as it's going to change. But I don't know if it's fully hit that stride yet. Yeah. But- well, you don't want to be on the Steph Curry train 10 years before the Steph Curry train. Maybe it's you know five what I'm saying? years. Though. I mean, yeah. maybe you're if you're a couple of years ahead of it, that's cool. But if you're eight to ten years ahead of it, that ain't good, right? Right. Exactly. Exactly. So maybe it's maybe they're three to four years. Caitlin Clark's going to change it a lot for a lot of other schools in the future. So maybe three to four. But I'm not sure if it's there yet. Now, again, I say that you know where I am. I built a dynasty with just a bunch of elite guards for years, dominating. So you know, we could it could go that way. But we'll just see how we'll just have to see how it's going to play out. Okay, what else you need to know about her? And by the way, you can vote right now on our YouTube page. Is this a great hire, a money-saving move? 76% right now say great hire. What down, Coop? Tennessee Center, Cooper Mays here. Third down. All right, thank you, Coop. Young. She is young. I mean, she could almost be my daughter, which is crazy. Um, Tennessee goes from having... Coaches in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, to now she is what, Caleb? She is 34. Wow. Younger than me. 
got married just last year. Her original surname is Kim Stevens. Yes, she is a very, very young prospect, uh, a very young coaching prospect. I think Danny White, this is a focus on trying to keep the Tennessee Lady Vols up with the times, honestly. I think there are some... I think there are some issues that people think that Tennessee has been stuck in their ways for too long. So I think this was a move to try to address that. And I think that that's a, I think that was a big focus of his. And so I think her age was actually a factor. She's still older than Lane Kiffin was when Tennessee hired Lane Kiffin though, in 2008. <laughs> yes. I know that because I was the exact same age. So welcome to the club. It's very sobering. I'll go ahead and warn you of that. When you start getting older than the coaches you cover, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. And why Tennessee hired her? She is a proven winner. But did the Vols save money? They saved a ton. Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Pools and Spas. You can have your spa delivered 125 miles within that fantastic showroom downtown mention off the hook sports gets five hundred dollars off why tennessee ultimately hired their new women's basketball coach in 60 seconds off the hook sports here you know the best thing about dynasty pools and spas is that they've got it all taken care of what does that mean well you stop by their showroom and check out their fantastic selection of top-notch spas in that showroom in athens make your pick and get ready because Dynasty Pools and Spas delivers within 125 miles of that location in Athens, that fantastic showroom. They've got the cover, the cover lifts, steps, chemicals, and everything you need. Delivery at no extra charge. They're just down the road in Athens. You pick the spa you want, and it'll be there for you. Oftentimes discounted with military and first responders discounts. Also blemish models, or just mention Off the Hook Sports. That's Off the Hook Sports for $500 off. There's a discount for you on spas made right here in East Tennessee. Support local. Dynasty Pools and Spas also has the best chemicals for you and your spa and your pool. No fillers, just the chemicals made right here in East Tennessee. Support local. Dynasty Pools and Spas, $500 off if you mention Off the Hook Sports. $500 off if you mention Off the Hook Sports. Dynasty Pools and Spas. DynastyPoolsAndSpas.com. All SEC Center Cooper Mays here. Fourth down. All right, so Caleb, what has this young lady, Kim Caldwell, done to be deserved of heading up one of the most tradition-laden college athletic programs? I was going to say women's. Take that out. Women, uh, College athletic programs in the nation. What has she done to this point? Pretty good run at Marshall last year, but before that, she's had success as well. Yes, she spent six years at Glenville State. uh, Seven years, excuse me. Went 191 and 24. She made the NCAA tournament every year at the Division II level down there. And her last two years, she won the Division II national title and made the Final Four uh, in a separate year. She took over a 17... She took over a team that had won 17 games in 2015, 2016. Then in Marshall, Marshall was 17 and 14 before she took over. Then they went to 26 and 7 won the Sun Belt. She has won her conference regular season title every year, but one year that she has been a head coach. And this is a big part of the Danny White philosophy, which is Danny White likes hires. And this is very similar to Josh Heupel. He likes coaches that win early and generate excitement with splashes. And this is not the type of coach that you hire and think, oh, three years down the road, they'll have a national title team. No, this is, he wants to win right now. Okay. And may I say, I think you've, painted yourself in the corner a little bit okay because her age and a major rebuilding project which i believe this is because it wouldn't have been when tennessee hired holly warlick it wouldn't have been when tennessee hired kelly harper but now suddenly they're in a day and age where the complete sport and as every sport in college athletics has changed So I think you're thinking of this as being a bit of a rebuilding hire more than you might consider it based off a team that made the NCAA tournament, which they did. And you're, you're telling me though, that this is, is part of a a youth movement. So kind of job with me, those two things. No, it's part of a Danny white. Go ahead. It's part of a Danny white philosophy. Danny white likes to hire coaches that, you know, within their first year that they're the right person for the job, not three years down the road. And he likes them to make an early splash their first year. Okay, I, I want to follow up on that. 
you can't make a guarantee that you're going to win 10 games in your first year in football or 28 your first year in basketball. So what's that guarantee? I mean, well, does that consist okay, so with of? Josh how do you Heupel, enact that? So Josh Heupel going seven and six, you knew then he was the right person for the job because that team should have gone four and eight. That team should have gone four and eight or three and nine. And Josh Heupel so you're saying, six. that's what I'm asking. So you're saying on the field. Yes. On the field, on the field, on the court. It's one that, you, it's not one of it's not like Derek Dooley or of you know you hope they're good in three years. So he wants you to know that they're going to be good the first year they take over. I don't think she's going to win a national championship next year, but I think she's going to immediately have Tennessee better than they were this past year under Kelly Harper. And I think that was a big focus of Danny White's. It always has been. And when you make that early splash, it helps you become a good recruiter because people question, can you recruit? Well, if you make an early splash, you get the credibility at a school like Tennessee that that recruits itself. Oh, very true. Uh, good point. I can't argue with that. I just didn't know if you if you meant talk to the boosters and you know, make sure everybody's copacetic and everybody's getting along well in the athletic department. I mean, that is a part of it. And I'm not comparing the two hires. But let's be honest. Anybody that's been around the coaching community, we all knew that Greg Schiano was going to enter – the building as his own man. He was going to do what he wanted to do. It didn't matter what anybody else wanted aside from what may or may not have happened at Penn state. That's part of the reason that I thought all of that gained momentum. But what I was told about Kim Caldwell is that while she realizes this is a rebuilding project, she has gone to different people. And as part of the interviewing process, she told people, she said, I, there are things I need to learn about running a major organization of this type i think that's a heck of a good sign in other words you're not a former lady ball in that you hold the program up to this incredible height that you're never going to reach and i think holly warlick and kelly harper did that but you respect it and you respect the heck out of getting this job you don't have to be a former lady ball to do that and ultimately i'll that'll be my takeaway is I'm glad they didn't feel beholden to do that with a Kara Lawson or somebody else that I may not be aware of. No, I totally agree. I mean, that's like, you don't have to be a former coach at any school to appreciate the greatness and the status of that program. I don't think Kalen DeBoer had to ever be at Alabama to understand the importance of the history of the of Alabama football. You don't think there was ever a conversation like, okay, we just want to let you know we've won a lot recently. And he's like, oh, did you? No, yeah, I think Kaylin DeBoer knew that. I'd nerd, I'd nerd. Yeah, no, I think it's totally, I think she, if you're a lady, if you're a women's basketball coach, you know the Lady Vol brand, you don't have to have played for them. So I think, I don't think you need to know that as well. You just need to be able to coach. And I think Tennessee got a good coach in this.